Okay, another edition of the Angry Photographer here. I'm going to try to save you money because I've owned every Nikkor lens made in the past 20 years except for some of the $6,000 beasts. So, I've got some uh, more uh, camera cases over here to the left holding a lot more lenses. Right now, let's go over saving yourself some money on a nice portrait 85mm. Uh, next week, or the end of this week, I'm going to talk about other portrait lens especially uh, my favorite which would be the 135 millimeter DC defocus control F2 1400 lens or the uh, Tikina 100 millimeter 2.8 which is really for the money the best portrait lens that you can get for a great deal of a uh, very little bit amount of money it's only 400 dollars used I think that's a new price currently 400 dollars for the Tikina ATX 100 millimeter 2.8 anyway here we have Four different varieties of we have currently here all current production uh, 85 millimeter Nikkor lenses, including no longer produced except for the 1.4 85 millimeter uh, G lens. This is the 1.8 1.8 uh, uh, f 1.8 uh, 85 millimeter Nikkor. Um, so. Over here is current. We also have the G lens, but this is the D version. Uh, the, the G 1.4 85mm is $1,600. This is still current production 85mm 1.4 D Nikkor. A uh, nice honk and honk of glass. The bullshit everybody talks about. Great bokeh. Of course, when I back then I went to photography school, nobody was talking about bokeh. It's bokeh this, bokeh that. Shut the fuck up with your goddamn bokeh, okay? Um, so. What's the best lens for purchase? Right over here we have new $1,400. $1, you can get them used all day long for $800 on eBay. Cheap is $750. Um, of course you have your 85mm 1.8G. And here you have current production 85mm 1.8D lens. Uh, this is the best constructed of these four right here. I'll actually the uh, 85mm D 1.4 is equally as well constructed. The older version, uh, which doesn't run any cheaper and is a bit inferior due to its design, which is the 1.8 85mm non D. I've always called this 85mm pre D. You notice there's not a D marked on the lens. The only problem is you actually have uh, this lens breathes, and what does that mean? That means when uh, focusing on the back, there's actually a space for dust to be sucked in when you're actually uh, focusing which you do not have on the D version. So you actually get dust particles sucked in there and uh, you can, can't see it, but they're actually in there. Um, you can get the D or the pre-D version. These two lenses here are used on eBay for about $300. So is this $1,300, actually $1,400, 1.4, uh, 85mm D, any better than the, uh, everybody lusts after this stupid piece of fucking glass. There's absolutely no reason for it at all. Is there? No, there really isn't. The 85mm 1.8D is perfectly fine. And you show pro pros the uh, same picture shown at 1.8 or 1.4. None of them are going to notice any difference. Just as good at image quality. I mean, what are you fucking doing? Are you taking portraits in absolute total fucking darkness? Get over it. This is not worth $1,400 versus $300 used on eBay. Okay? $300 used versus $800 used. Is this worth over twice as much? Absolutely fucking literally not. Save your goddamn money. Yes, it's, oh, it's a big, beautiful piece of glass. It's 1.4. That's just awesome. That makes it so much better than the 1.0. No, it doesn't fucking. It does not. It is no better. Hey, show pros taking, show pros uh, pictures taken with the 1.4D uh, and the same thing take with a 1.8. There's only so much light transference resolution to your uh, digital sensor, whether you're using an old film camera, which most of you are not using, between the 1.4 and the 1.8. I did this back working in the photography shop, so I actually showed a bunch of pros that came in the door when I was back in photography school. Pictures taken between... This is a $35,000 Leica lens versus an Olympus a stylus. Obviously, there's a huge difference when it comes to vignetting and chromatic aberration, but... I was showing them 5x7s using the exact same, uh, those are old film cameras, using 25 speed, uh, uh, 25 speed, uh, I can't remember what film it was, but it was 25 speed and nobody could tell the difference. Um, even blown up at 100%, if you're a pixel peeper, there's no difference between these two. Just get a 85mm 1.8D and stop lusting after this a super expensive beast, okay? Nikon makes a fortune, as Nikon reps will privately 
behind closed doors tell you that the production cost between these two lenses of producing them between the 1.8 and the 1.4 I think is something like $80. New they're charging you twice as much for this lens of which production cost is only roughly $80 more on this super expensive uh, honking piece of glass, okay? Is it beautiful? Yes. Is it creamy? Yes. Is it wonderful to look at? Yes. Does it take any better pictures? No, it fucking doesn't, okay? So here are the three Nikkor lenses. Now, I forgot to mention that as so far as their chromatic aberration and uh, vignetting, the uh, even more superior, this cheaper 1.8G is superior to the 1.4D lens as far as chromatic aberration. If you're a pixel peeper, this cheaper 1.8 is sharper obviously than the 1.8D, but it is also sharper than this current production 1.4 85mm D lens. So if you're going to make a choice between these three lenses, the, the pre-D version is no longer available. That's what I've always called it, at least back in the camera store. I called it the pre-D version because it's got an uh, inferior construction design. Um, $300 all day long on these two. Um, used on these about $450. Like I said, the cheapest you can find these for is $800, $850. Sometimes as cheap as $780. Uh, superior image quality, superior glass, better ED. It is, this is better glass. It does. If you're a pixel peeper, and you want the best lens for the best price, get the 85mm 1.8G lens versus uh, even the D lens. Take superior pictures if you're a pixel peeper, if you plan on, I don't know, popping out some 12x18s on your Canon Pixar uh, 10 super printer. So, anyway, that's the 85mm review. Not worth it. I'm going to actually show you the difference between the pre-D and the D version. This is current production 1.8 D version. You notice if I actually change the focus that uh, the rear element is sealed you can actually get no you can actually get uh, no dust particles in on the 1.8D versus the pre-D so anyway those are your choices on your 85mm portrait lenses well all four of them will produce a superior book like I said the only 85mm portrait lens that I don't have here is this lens in 1.4 which is the uh, 85mm 1.4 uh, G lens by Nick Gore, which is insanely expensive. It's absolutely not worth it. However, this is worth it as superior glass, uh, superior uh, light transference, better chromatic aberration, uh, much better uh, fall off than any of these other lenses do. So, if you want to make a wise choice, get the uh, 85mm 1.8G um, for $300 or sometimes as cheap as $250. Snag one of these on eBay, you'll be so happy with it, you'll be tickled pink. Get an 85mm 1.8D if you want to save yourself a lot of money or if you just can't afford it, etc, etc. And you will like to make things short and sweet, which I really didn't do in this video, but I apologize. Better too much information than too little information. I am so sick of all these YouTube videos where someone has a one camera and they got into photography about four or five years and they go, they've owned four or five lenses. They go, oh, I own this lens. This is my fourth lens I've ever bought and it's just so fucking awesome. You know, you need this expensive lens because... It's just the fucking shit, you know, it's so expensive, therefore it must be superior. Well, no, it's not. Shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about, okay? Unless you've compared everything with everything else, stop telling me about what's superior and what's inferior. And it's not about money, it's actually about having a broad spectrum of experience, okay? Just like you don't want someone hauling your shit that's only bought a truck six months ago and hauling your fragile china across the country. I want to trust someone that's actually owned everything and done everything and seen it all and has actually knows what they're talking about and made a basis of comparison, has a broad spectrum of experience, what's good, what's not. You know, obviously anybody that has unlimited funds can spend an, a fortune on the best shit that's out there. But most people aren't like that and photography is just a hobby to them. They want to know what's the best they can get for the least amount of money. And that's what I'm here to tell you. I'm here to save you fucking money. Is there any difference between this $1,400 lens and this $300 lens used? No, there really isn't. So get this. The, one, the 85mm 1.8D off of eBay. Just find somebody with perfect feedback. It says there's no haze or mold. No scratches for any real element. Somebody that you can trust. Obviously, that's kind of hard to do unless you got eBay buying skills. But uh, anyway, that's it. That's the review for the 85mm. Try to save you money. Hopefully, these are the first videos out there on YouTube. The first, the only ones I've ever seen where actually somebody's actually owned everything. Especially when it comes to Nikon and Nikkor lenses, both uh, on brand and off brand, can actually make an intelligent, rational, logical decision for you and tell you what's best and 
money being irrelevant, there's no fucking difference between this $300 lens and this $1,300 lens. There really isn't. You're going to be perfectly happy with the results from either money being irrelevant. Okay? Get it? Fine. Fuck it.